Manchester City should not sign Ilka Gundogan this summer. Now, this has obviously been a, a news of a sort of sorry, I've obviously come out tonight, obviously with regards to managing Barcelona, obviously a very popular t- t- obviously Twitter account about involving the Barcelona of the community. Obviously, uh, they obviously came out today to sort of discussing Gundogan, obviously being forced out of the club. Obviously, Barcelona and the politics and the, the players, and it's, it's been a disgrace for for a few a few years now, especially on the Porter and obviously before obviously with Bartomeu. To me. The one situation is a weird one because I get, I can't, and I'm the same. I did put out a tweet. I say it now. That's saying that they should feel the room to, to bring in, obviously bring, obviously bring back, obviously, obviously Rodri as well. But for me, when we don't look at the Rodri situation and, and the Gundogan the ability there, I have to wonder: is this really the best like route to go? Because if we're being realistic, right? Gundogan is obviously older since he obviously like he left the club. Obviously, it's going to be because it's just been like two years. The years is obviously obviously he left the club last season. So we have to ask this. We have to ask this question: Is it really worth bringing a thirty-three year old, thirty-four year old, thirty-four year old uh, man in in October time? Yeah, October time. October time. Is it really worth bringing someone who's been a year out of the game? And then bring him back into bring him back into the into the club for for one year only. Now people will say yes, we should definitely do that because he was captain of the club last time. Maybe captain again this time. It's been a, it's been a year, and he had every right to obviously decide well, when to obviously leave. Obviously, he, as he had that authority to do so. But people 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 have to remember right. And a good friend, a good friend Alex said this obviously before in our WhatsApp group. People saw the women we actually discuss stuff. He basically said, and I don't mind, I'm quoting him here, he'll say that same thing here. There's no doubt that obviously a good one's a legend of the club. Of course he is. Obviously, for captain this club to its first ever European treble winners, of course, there's no doubt in that whatsoever about what, about, about what he's achieved and what, what he's brought to this club. But people forget that he asked the FC. And people were, were trying to say that, 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 that I'm wrong in saying that, you know, that reports were different. Obviously, that, you know, City didn't want to give him the contract. And fair enough, but City had every right to do that. And if, remember, he wanted more than what we actually valued him at. Now I know people will say them 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 we should value him at him more. Oh yeah, fair enough. But the thing is, that, that's your opinion. The club at the end of the, the club at the end of the day have their rules and their way of doing things, and that's why players like David Silva, Torre, Aguero, they all left at, at a certain at a certain age when they, when they knew their time was up. The, the, but the club didn't keep them on for ages, you know, for, obviously for the sake of it. Now I get it. I love Gundogan as much as the next person in his fan base. I love him to bits, but we've got to be re- real here. Are we really, really going to just bring back one player to do a a Rodrigue like role when that wasn't his role in the first place? Anyway, I know we can do it, but are we really doing that again for just one year and then get someone else in? Like, it to me, it, it just screams nostalgia. It screams that the fan base isn't ready to commit to anything right now. Like if we actually want to get someone in right now to sort of. Get this squad ready for this season. As a, uh, for me, the best option we can go for is Mendy. Now that's probably he wants to stay associated because with Liverpool. Trust me, no. If we go and throw an offer for him, he'll definitely be up for it. Because the thing is, he actually will play games as well. Look, Calvin Phillips obviously is an answer. Obviously, he, 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 he's now obviously, obviously, obviously up down to obviously Ipswich for the season. Nunes obviously is still obviously rumours up the air. Him and Kovacic obviously have got a lot to prove this season. A little bit less, but still same situation. Should we really bring another central, another central midfielder? Well, he's not. He's not a, 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 a defensive midfielder. That doesn't that isn't really his bag. No, look, I know, I get it. It's nostalgia. Everyone wants to be good luck. I'm not. I'm not to teams to, 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 to see him stay. I I should say for he should stay at City for maybe one or two more years, and then and then have retired or gone off somewhere else after that. But. The club didn't do that for a particular particular reason, and fair enough. Look, did we miss good one last season? Maybe I think it was actually him that was the issue last season. Last season was more about down to defence, not being as good as it was the season four. Edison not being as good as season before, and it's no, 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 the whole team as a whole dropped levels dropped. Probably by me, Foden and Rodri, the levels dropped last season because of treble and how good it was. Season Gundogan for me won't be the reason this team wins everything. I know that sounds quite blasphemous considering how good he was. While he was here, but if we take out the nostalgia, drop the nostalgia, and drop the memories of what he was, 
be practical about what was going on. He's 34 this year. Are you telling me Goodman is still the exact same player he was a couple of years ago? I'm not saying he can't be. But be realistic. Are we really resorting to bringing back all the players after their time here? When do we ever when do we ever do that? When does Pep ever bring back players for one year, one last dance? Like I know Messi could have done that, but that's messy. As a whole, that's a whole different narrative, a whole different point in general. But Gundogan's been gone for a year. And even at even at Barca, like if, if I look at his stats, and I'm doing this live, like, it's not an edited video. I could, I could do, but it's not really that you know for time anyway. So last season, Gundogan, five goals, nine assists in, in, in La Liga, four assists, so about five, 13, five goals and 14 assists of competition, which is pretty good for midfield. I mean, I mean, I mean goals-wise, definitely way off what he, where he used to be, and assists and were probably a bit more than what he was getting before that. But the points are said, the level's kind of got a little bit. Now, I know Barthelon are Barthelon, and they're not the same Barthelon team they used to be of many, many years ago, but when, if we, when you look at that form and look at where he's at, do you really want to be, be bringing in a player for the sake of it? Because bear in mind, if I'm right in saying his, contra- his current contract, because it's, it's not a free, it's not a free, but this is not a free, by the way. Like, you know, it's, it, it isn't a free transfer here. If I'm right in saying, so he would join for two seasons last year. So he joined for two seasons through to the first of June next, next year. We've obviously said one more year. So basically, his contract runs out technically for, for being right here, in twenty twenty. In 2026, yeah, now, no, no, yes, they're going to say, oh, but yeah, he wants to leave, and we'll let him go. All right, fine, but you're still paying a fee for him. And if I'm right in saying, he, he left on a free transfer. We didn't we get any money for him. So basically, we're, we're, we're spending money again to bring back a player we already had beforehand. I get it. I get it. I get what people want him back. I understand completely. You know, uh, 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 we have Cancelo. We do, and we'll, we'll, we'll obviously swap them over with Gundogan. Look, if it happens, fine. I'll back it. I'll back the club. And obviously, I'm, I'm sure we'll, I, 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 I'm happy to see him back again. But be realistic about this before going crazy. Like, look, I know I put them a tweet out on look, fair enough. But I've already said before, discussing it is better than obviously sort of flat out saying no. I'm saying what we should avoid him is to get someone in for the future. Someone who's going to come in this squad and be here for a long term, and just a year. We've got to move on now. For, 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 I was part of an era of a club that will be remembered for the rest of my life and all our lives, and probably people, obviously, growing up, the kids growing up obviously, as I get older. But we've got to move with the times. And Gundogan, for me, is a player that's slowly, on, slowly coming to the end of his career. Is he a bad player? No way he's a bad player whatsoever. No. But is he really the quality we need to win the Champions League again? No. People also have a wife say he did help us with, yeah, I know he did. Two years ago. A year ago, but you know what I mean? We reference about two years. So, yeah, I know. I know it's a very big talk about. I know it's, you know, people gonna say have a wife say, obviously, a lot of different points of view. I get it. Trust, 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 trust me. If he, if he comes back, I'll back him no matter what. Of course I will. But, I'm just saying we should definitely be looking at a, a long-term option in that position because Rodri can't do it on his own this year. Rodri is very close to, to, to his own point anyway. People should realise that. People that want one thing, they want the other. Like, what do you want? Do you want a nostalgia player or do you want a long-term option that's going to have Rodri out in the long, long, long term? For me, I want option two. Long-term option going forward. I want a, a, a Zubamendi, someone that quality can come in and do a bloody, a bloody job and also, 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 also compete for a starting spot on this team. That's what it should be. But we'll see what happens. Obviously, uh, for me, I doubt. I doubt it. I know it's Barcelona, but let's be honest, it's probably going to happen anyway. I know it's, it's, it's potential there, but I don't. Think, I don't think the club are going to pursue it anyway. Pep will probably want to do it either. So it's probably a weak point anyway. It probably won't happen. But I'm just. I'm just. It's a message to the fan base of anything. No, I love Gundogan. I love what he did for the. But let's just move on. Move on from him now. He's a part of an era that should be remembered for what that is. I don't. I don't want to bring him back just for one season. Where it might not actually go well. Let's, let's, his time ended in, in, in that, that treble season. He has every right to be remembered for his great time here. But I, I, I was here. But yeah, that's my point on it all. Obviously, everyone, obviously, everyone has a different point of view. Obviously, to me, and obviously, I respect that completely. I respect that for people who obviously want him to be here. I get it myself, but I think just for, for me personally, I would rather him just you know, I'd rather just get a player in, in the long term. Yeah. Big everyone, obviously, for, for, for watching the streams this week, liking the videos, 
love of the streams, the comments, the descriptions, tw- follow on Twitter, on YouTube. We all appreciate it, man. The start of the season, obviously, tomorrow. Chelsea away tomorrow. Big one. Alex will be there. Danny, I think Danny Danny Alex will be there next week at Ipswich. My first league game will be at Brentford next month. Busiest month. A lot going on. But Brentford next month, I will be there with with the lads. I've obviously been with people that I'm sure I'll meet some of you, obviously, while I'm there. Uh, Yeah, bring it on. Bring the season on. Bring on another long 60, 70 game season, which is next July. Barclay, folks, it's going to be a long, long season. Up to all of you. I'll see you guys soon. Take care.